Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video. So this video is a little bit different. We're actually going with my buddy to pick up his brand new Jar Edition G80 M3 in Techno Violet. Uh, they only made 500 of these, so it's a limited edition G80 M3. He actually already has a G80 M3. I actually detailed his Brooklyn Gray G80 M3. You guys saw it on the channel. Uh, and he actually picked up another one. He had an opportunity to get this limited edition, so he decided to pick one up. Uh, and uh, that's what we're gonna go do today. So I'm actually uh, going to go pick him up in a little bit. And then we're gonna go head up to the dealer and pick up the new G80. Now this G80 is going to be for sale. Since he does have his uh, Brooklyn Gray one, uh, he is actually going to sell the Techno Violet, the Jar Edition one. Um, really, really cool spec. And uh, we're gonna go head up to the dealer, pick it up. And um, I figured I would take you guys along, show you what it's like to pick up a brand new M3 and uh, make a video out of it. So let's go pick up my buddy and uh, let's go get that brand new G80 M3. They got a six CSL here, which is pretty cool. You don't really see these. MSRP is 145, and they put a 20k markup on this, so 165. It's probably 180 after taxes and fees. Pretty crazy, but ours is over here. So let's go check it out. Here's the Techno Violet Jar Edition, dirty. <laughs> Super sick. Obviously the next day we're in a different vehicle. Uh, what we ended up doing is actually dropping the M3 off at uh, our buddy's house. We're going to be storing it there in the garage. Since the car is not going to be driven or anything like that, um, it's going to be stored in that garage until the buyer comes to pick it up. Keeping the miles low, it only has 25 miles on it. Um, so it's, it's brand new. I mean, obviously you guys saw all the uh, packing material, delivery, all that stuff on there. Uh, that was under our request to leave all that. It wasn't washed, obviously. For me, that is always preferred to have the dealer not touch it, leave all the packing material and everything on there, um, just so they don't touch it and swirl it up and you know ruin it. Because we all know that dealers are not the best detailers. So what we instructed was to have them leave everything on, don't wash it, don't touch it, and we'll just leave it uh, until the buyer is interested in picking it up. And then uh, you know I can give it a good cleaning and wash it up and um, you know detail it a little bit before it goes off to the new owner. So really cool pickup. I absolutely love the color. The car is fantastic. I've gotten a chance to actually drive a G80 and they are fantastic cars. Obviously the front end is a little controversial, but it has grown on me a lot after seeing them modified and how good they could actually look. Um, so I actually do like it now. Um, it's still not preferred. I still prefer the older style with the smaller grills, but uh, it is nice and I don't mind it as much. Uh, I will say that the new giant big screen not a big fan of it. I prefer the 2022s, which actually have the integrated dash, um, you know, basically like the older, or I don't want to say older, but the current generation uh, BMWs and kind of just what we're used to like this, where the dash is integrated. The big screen is a little distracting. It looks a little afterthought. It looks like it's just placed on there. It reminds me of those, uh, I think it's Samsung, 
the uh, monitor displays, the curved displays. It looks like it's just plopped on there. I don't think I got a shot of it, but the actual screen, you know, it's just kind of on the dash and they have like a little arm in the back, you know, connecting to the dash. It looks very, very afterthought. Actually the same screen that's in the new just debuted M2, which I am not a fan of. It's not a really a good look, um, but either way, fantastic car looks great we had a lot of fun driving uh really cool roads back there uh back in the area that we were in however it was dark so there was a lot of deer out and everything so we couldn't go crazy but a lot of fun picking it up really cool to see the whole experience and hopefully one day we can get a brand new m3 uh delivered to me one day because that is one of my dreams to do that also my buddy who just picked up the techno violet jar edition m3 uh, is dropping off his brooklyn gray m3 and I'm actually going to be able to have it for the week. I'm going to be able to drive it, really get a good opinion on it. I only had it for a short while when I detailed it a few months ago, uh, and it was brand new. It only had about uh, 200 miles or so on it, and it wasn't broken in yet, and um, he promised me that once it was broken in, that he would lend it to me for uh, about a week or so to get a good opinion on it, actually really drive it. So there is gonna be a full review on that car of me, you know, what I think about it for driving it every day. Is it a good daily? What do I think of it? Um, you know, obviously when you get into a brand new car, you have that honeymoon feeling where, you know, oh, it's great, it's fantastic. But once you actually get some time to drive it and go through the whole daily driving phase and um, do everything that you need to do, you know, things can change. So I'm really looking forward to driving it, feeling it, see what I really think of it. You know, is it a vehicle that I want to pursue? Is it something that I want to chase? Is it that good of a car to, you know, maybe replace the STI with? I don't know. I want to get that opinion. I want to try it out and see what it's like. So there's going to be a full review video on that. Uh, and also we're going to head back to the garage in this video. And uh, we got some new STI mods that came in. So I wanted to go over those with you as well. So we'll catch back up with you guys in a little while once I pick up the G80. Uh, the brooklyn gray one and then uh, we can get back to the garage and show off the new mods all right so we are in another car this is actually the fourth car we've been in in this video which i just realized right before i started this clip so pretty cool pretty versatile uh we were in the sti at first then we were in the jar edition g80 m3 then the truck and now we're in the brooklyn gray competition x drive m3 so i do have this for the next few days so my plan for this is just to daily drive it get used to it do the daily stuff that i normally do go to work pick up the kids grocery shopping um and you know go out and have some fun too on the back roads so uh, i really want to get a feel for this car since when i had this car last i was detailing it it only had about 200 miles on it or so now we're at 4385 so the car is fully broken in and had the break-in service and everything. So, so my buddy actually gave me permission to romp on it and really, really, uh, you know, put it through its paces, you know, within reason on the street, obviously. But the G80 M3 has seriously grown on me uh, and it's one of the cars that I actually am considering. Um, so being able to live with this for the next couple of days is gonna be pretty awesome. And just see if it's something worth replacing the STI or, you know, if it's something that I wanna pursue, it's something that I wanna chase, you know, for a replacement for the STI, I don't know. Uh, you know, I had the opportunity to drive the Porsche for the week, um, and that obviously threw me for a loop since the Porsche was amazing, uh, and the G80 M3 is such a fantastic car, so um, this is one of those cars that I'm considering as well, so having some time uh, in this car is going to be fantastic. Again, I'm going to be doing a full review on it um, once I've kind of finished up my time with it, let you guys know what I think, um, and just kind of, you know, get all the jitters and the excitedness out of my system. And then, you know, let you guys know what I think and if it's something that I'm going to, uh, you know, kind of jump on and, and possibly replace the STI with. So, so again, I'm going to go over everything in this car uh, in that video. But for now, let's head back to the garage and uh, let's check out the new mod that just came in for the STI. All right, back in the garage, the SCI is hanging out in here, chilling out um, after that long and fun drive yesterday, picking up the jar edition. Uh, but like I mentioned, we got some new mods. Now I did go over all this other stuff, uh, front sway bar, transmission mount, um, and up here is stuff for the JDM uh, auto folding mirrors. That is a various engineering lower control arm covers. And then I've been waiting for this. This was something ordered directly from Japan, so I had to wait a couple weeks for it. This is actually the JDM power folding mirrors. I was waiting on this. Uh, we have the switch, the harnesses and the wires. We also have the uh, armrest or for the door card for the switches and everything. 
So we actually got the mirrors in. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox them, show them what it looks like. Now we finally have everything to install them. So uh, we can finally do the install video and get that knocked out. But I figured I would show you guys since they just came in and uh, I wanna see them too. So let me go ahead and unbox this and uh, let's check them out. So we got them unboxed. This is what they look like. They literally look exactly like stock. Um, now it doesn't come with the covers and everything. We're just going to be transferring all of the uh, mirror modifications that I've done over to these. So I have the uh, carbon fiber mirror caps. I have the uh, gloss black uh, under caps, the sequential turn signals. Uh, and then on this side, I have the um, OLM convex yellow mirrors. And then I have the little uh, turn signal clear window thing there as well. One thing I noticed on these is they do have the little turn signal window, um, as you can see on the outside here, but there's also a kind of like a little insert in there as well. In the USDM ones, they just have a blank, so this thing is totally covered. And then when you go to install the actual little clear pieces, you take it out completely. But this is already open, um, so my guess is they have something in Japan that fits in there. But upon looking on the back, it's the same thing. You can actually just take that whole plastic piece off just like you did with the uh, USDM ones, the ones I did on my car, and then that will fit in there. So we are good. But I decided to take everything else out for the JDM uh, power folding mirrors, just so you can see. Um, we actually got the mirrors that just came in. The difference between these and the stock or the USDM mirrors is there's actually a motor inside here that allows it to turn. That is why you need to get the Japan auto folding mirrors you can't just use the ones already on the car because there's no motor also this is the uh, armrest that includes all the door switches the window switches and all that uh, and also the switch right here that is going to be needed for the mirrors to be able to fold them and in saying that this is the switch that you need which includes the mirror uh, adjustment knob and then this button right here is for the actual uh, folding mirrors so you press it uh, to be able to fold them or uh, open them and they also fold when they are locking as well so pretty cool um, that's going to fit right in this section right there on the back here there's a little insert to pop that in um, so really nice uh, the only weird thing that i don't like is it says all auto and just the front windows are auto so um, i may try to scrub that off with some alcohol or something we will see i'm not too concerned about it I may scratch it off but i don't want to ruin it so we'll see what happens there but also over here is all the wiring harnesses that you need, the little module, and um, a bunch of, I don't even know what this is, some foam and some zip ties. Uh, so I will be following a tutorial on the forms. So there's a really, really good write-up on how to do this. Basically what I've heard, you actually need to depin uh, the stock wire harness to accept this one, uh, which seems to be pretty easy, but again, I'm not a big fan of electrical work, but I'm uh, willing to take on the task show you guys how to do it and go over all the details so i will go over everything when we go to install this but really excited those are in now if you're looking to do this again i'm going to go over all this in the video but i know a lot of people are curious it's pretty expensive just to do this just to get some auto folding mirrors to get the actual mirror housings the armrest piece uh the modules and everything that you need here the switch you're looking at over 800 dollars for this pretty crazy uh, but it's something that I had to have. It's an OEM JDM piece, so it's not like it's aftermarket or anything. So it's going to fit and look like OEM because it is. Uh, so it is fairly expensive. So if you're looking to do this, be prepared to pay a little bit because it does cost. But it's definitely going to be worth it because when I park, I have them open now just because I'm filming the video. But every single time I park, I fold my mirrors in just so nobody bumps into them and um, you know causes some issues so so and plus when I park the car now I'm gonna be able to lock it and they're gonna auto fold and I'm not gonna have to worry about people bumping into them in the parking lots and whatnot um, so that is going to be a really cool mod I figured I would just show you what came in because I know you guys were waiting for this a lot of people were requesting uh, when that video was going to be so hopefully I have some time this weekend or uh, next week to get this installed I still have a million other things to get done as well I'm gonna be very busy but I like this kind of busy um, it's a lot of fun and I enjoy it so uh, when I get time I'll get the videos up plus I have the Brooklyn gray G80 M3 outside that I'm gonna be driving all week as well uh, so I got a lot going on, but again, it's a good kind of overwhelmed. I like doing this stuff and uh, I'm looking forward to making all these videos. So that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all about the STI, the G80s, the truck, anything at all, please ask them in the comments below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.